Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Mitsubishi Outlander on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off firstly by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the vehicle first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically as you can see. As we approach the back of the car, you'll also see reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space available there as well. And we've also got that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through the controls on the inside of it from there. Now that we've done a full circle, though, you can see, firstly, the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around the car. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the right-hand side, we have the speedometer. On the left-hand side, uh, we have the gauge that will show you how much of the uh, power you're using in this car, essentially with regards to the hybrid motor. So uh, the blue section here, uh, how much charge you're getting whilst you're driving, whether you're driving an Eco, if you're on the petrol engine, you then have your rev counter over on this right-hand side. Uh, in the centre, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 27,768. Above that, we have your fuel gauge, battery charge level. It will show you what gear this car is in as well. Of course, it's an automatic, so we are in park at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel next. Over on the left-hand side, we have our phone controls, uh, stereo controls, cruise control, the minus and plus pedal so that you can change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And then into the center, the main touch screen for the car. So you can access the home screen from here where you'll see we have DAB, FM, AM radio. You can pair your phone. We have iPod input, USB input, Bluetooth. Uh, so Bluetooth audio, you'll be able to stream your music wirelessly once you paired your phone. Of course, you can make and receive phone calls as well. Lots of other settings available to you there, uh, including a full parking camera, not just a reversing camera, a 360 camera. So you have a bird's eye view image there of where the car is currently parked. Below that section, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, that's your air conditioning off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you. Any manual adjustment will override auto and allow you to put it back on whatever settings you want it on here as well. Underneath that, you can put the key in here, uh, more for storage than anything else. You just need to make sure the key is in the vehicle with you to start the car up. We have blind spot monitoring system, a heated steering wheel, heated front screen, and underneath this cap here are our USB, or is our USB uh, input for the car. Two cup holders, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We then have an electronic handbrake with an auto hold function. You can uh, operate the four wheel drive from here. You can put the car in sport mode. We've also got driver and passenger heated seats with two different heat settings on each seat. The last thing I wanted to do is run through the paperwork for the car. So you can see the V5 registration document there. Uh, in the envelope is the spare key, so two keys in total. And then we have the service book with the first, second, third, fourth and fifth services all stamped in here. The most recent of which was done in January of 2024. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. Similarly, if you'd like a live bespoke video, we are more than happy to do that for you as well.